Hey, Southo, it's Mrs. Z from the Southo Library back with another read aloud. Sticking with our theme of snow and winter stories, I am reading a fun one called The Most Perfect Snowman by Chris Britt. The Perfect Snowman by Chris Britt. Reading with permission from Baltzer and Bray. Drift was the loneliest of snowmen, made from the first blustery snow of winter. He'd been built fast and then forgotten. With only two skinny stick arms and a small mouth and eyes made of coal, Drift dreamed of wearing a stylish hat, scarf, and mittens just like the other snowmen. Most of all, he dreamed of having a pointy orange carrot nose. If only I had that, I'd be perfect, he thought. All the other snowmen were much fancier than Drift and would giggle at him with frosty glee. Nice nose, love your style, snazzy outfit. They're not very nice, they're teasing him. Poor Drift. Dressed in their finery, they would have snowy fashion parades snowball fights, and snowman dances that lasted all night, but Drift was never included. So he spent his days alone, swooshing and sliding through the wintry woods, often stopping in the shadows to watch the others laugh and play. One morning, three bundled up children walked by. What a plain looking snowman, one said, said one little girl. You need a hat. Here, take mine. The hat was blue, fluffy, and toasty warm. It fit him perfectly. And you can have my mittens, said the little boy. They were so snuggly. Drift raised his arms in the air and smiled. The last little girl turned to Drift. Why don't you take my scarf? It felt soft and cozy as she placed it around his neck. She looked at him for a moment. Hmm, you're still missing something. Then, reaching into her coat pocket, she pulled out the most pointy orange carrot nose that Drift had ever seen. I think it's kind of silly that she had a carrot in her pocket, but maybe she was anticipating building a snowman. She squashed it into place. Now you're the perfect snowman. The other snowmen watched in astonishment. All afternoon, Drift played with the children. He had never been so happy. But soon dark clouds rolled in and his new friends turned to walk back home. Drift thanked them and waved goodbye. That night, a terrible blizzard began to blow. Icy snowflakes ripped at Drift's new hat and mittens and tossed them into the air. Oh no, Drift gasped. He set out to search for his missing clothes. He looked up into the trees and down a stream, over hills and under bushes, but they were gone. Oh well, Drift sighed. At least I still have my beautiful new scarf and nose. Then, through the howling wind, Drift heard a whisper-soft voice. I'm lost. Can you help me, please? It was a tiny bunny. It looked frightened and shivery cold. The bunny needed a safe place to survive the night, but there was no shelter to be found. Drift took off his scarf and wrapped it gently around the bunny. There, now you'll stay warm. That's when he heard a faint growl. It was the bunny's tummy. Rumble. Drift stared into the frosty night. He knew what he had to do. He reached up, removed his last remaining gift, and gave his new friend something to eat. and became the most perfect snowman of all. 
Oh, so his kindness, the mer most perfect snowman, his kindness is what made him perfect, not his hat and his mittens or his scarf or his carrot nose. It was just being kind and doing the right thing.